Attention Gamer! Hey everyone! Mini ITX is a small size PC, popular with people who don't have a large space in their room. Today, we'll build an ITX gaming PC with the MSI Z97i Gaming AC. We have a power supply in ITX case. MSI Z97i Gaming AC motherboard designed for gaming. Kinston solid state drive and a pair of DDR3 RAM. Gaming headset, Intel i7-4770 CPU with cooler, high performance graphic card, MSI R9-270X Gaming 2G ITX, mouse cable manager, hybrid mouse pad, gaming mouse, mechanical gaming keyboard and a monitor. So let's build an ITX gaming computer. Unpack the case with the PSU before you unbox and touch the other components. Ensure the PSU power switch is in the off position. Then we place the I.O. cover in the proper direction and ensure the four corners are tight. Fortunately, there's no need to install copper studs for the mounting points of the motherboard. Oh yeah! Now, we need to use an anti-static wrist strap it's really a requirement as you build a PC. If you don't use this protection, you might damage some components with static events. First, we take the motherboard carefully out of the box. On top is the motherboard. Beneath are some accessories. Let's take a quick look at what we've got on the motherboard. We have four mounting points for the CPU cooler and CPU fan header. Heatsink designed with G-Series Dragon logo four SATA headers, 24 volt power header, and two RAM slots, and one PCI Express 3x16 slot. On the back side, we have the golden audio jack, USB, gaming port, HDMI, display port, killer LAN, and Wi-Fi module header. Now, we'll install the CPU. We use an Intel Core i7-4770 processor. Remember to hold the CPU from the sides, not from the face and pins. Also, don't touch the CPU pins, as it could cause damage. 1. Release this tight arm up and back. 2. Find the two notches on the CPU ride. Or you can follow the signs for CPU and CPU ride. These correspond to the CPU. Take the CPU and insert it in the proper direction. 4. Fold the mounting pipe back and down until you hear a snap. Remove the CPU socket cover and you've completed installation of the CPU. We need to use thermal paste before installing the CPU cooler. We'll use the cross method. Remember, when you put in the cooler, it has to be level to ensure the best spreading. If you choose the third-party cooler, you first need to install an additional manufacturer bracket for it. There are four CPU cooler mounting points on the motherboard. Check that the mounting points are okay and try to screw the four screws in order until tight. And don't forget to connect the header of the CPU fan. The next one is RAM. The edge connection of the RAM, also called Goldfinger, is sensitive. Don't touch it with your finger to avoid possible damage. Before you install the RAM, you need to soften the slot by bending out the ears. Then you'll find the foolproofing. Make sure that you insert the RAM in the proper direction. Push it down with even force with the clips in. The second RAM is installed in the same way. MSI Wi-Fi module makes your PC upgrade easy. The Intel Wi-Fi Bluetooth module also supports Intel Wi-Di wireless display. This way, you can easily connect to other wireless devices in your home. Put the module into the header and fasten it with a screw until tight. This is a 24-pin power connector which needs to be installed on the motherboard. This is an 8-pin power connector for more CPU power adjustment. Install the USB 3 connector and all fan controllers.
Next is the front panel header. Remember to study your manual before you start. There are power switch and reset switch LED lights for power and HDD. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Install the audio header of the front panel. Then, the header of the system fan. We usually take hold of the motherboard by the CPU cooler. The best method to install the motherboard into the case is to install with the rear of the motherboard down. First, make sure the motherboard lines up well with the rear I.O. cover, as well as the motherboard mounts. Then, the motherboard is ready to be installed. Choose the specific screws needed before you install. The first screw is for installing the diagonal mounting point to the back I.O. Then do the others. So now it's the time to install the graphic card. What the? The MSI R9 270X Gaming 2G ITX. Remember to remove the cover of the gold finger first. You need to push down the slot on the motherboard before installing. Hold the graphic card and push it down gradually into the slot until you hear a click. This is a straight pin power connector, providing additional power for the graphic card to make sure it functions reliably. Then install the screws on the bracket to fasten the graphic card. Come on, not again! We need to set the SSD into the 2.5 inch device bracket and make sure the direction allows cables to be easily plugged in. Then combine them with four screws. Insert the bracket into the case and fasten it with another four screws. After this, we plug in the SATA and SATA power connector into the motherboard and SSD. Make the cables as tidy as possible to maximize space for airflow. After we install all components inside the case, we can remove our anti-static wrist wrap. Woohoo! Install the case cover and fasten it with four screws. At last, we need to fasten the most important component, the gaming spirit, onto this machine. Plug in the power cord and turn the power supply on. We've successfully built a powerful ITX PC. Now that looks good. Game on! Triple kill! Oh yeah! Watch how I kill the enemy with the best ITX PC! Monster kill! Ultra kill. Yes! MSI Z97i Gaming AC. Mini but mighty. Just game.